Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing Miss Kate Design, her brand new uh, monthly box. And it's called Stars and Stripes. And this is for the month of July and it is based around the 4th of July. I will be sharing a layout later in the month that will include the papers and some of the embellishments, but it will not be 4th of July related. But for the first two layouts, I'm going to share this month, uh, one being today, and then I will share one on the 4th of July. I'm going to use 4th of July photos of my sons. Um, today's layout is going to be my youngest son, and then the 4th of July layout would be my oldest son. And then later in the month, like I said, I will share another layout that will be photos of my oldest son and us boxing in a like inflatable boxing ring. And the colors match perfectly. So I will be using those photos later in the month. So right now I'm just showing you all of the papers that are included in the kit. And I believe, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, let's see. Trying to see how many papers are included in the kit. Um, I forgot. So there's 39 designs and there's 20 sheets of paper and there's one 8 by 12 sticker sheet and then uh, with more than 60 stickers on it and there's four of the sheets are 3 by 4 elements and one of the sheets are 4 by 4 elements. So that's what's included total in the kit. Um, the back side of the cover sheet is one of the papers. So that's why there's 39, not 40 designs. Um, but you can design a layout around uh, the cover sheet. I've done that before in the past. And one of the kits, maybe I will show how to do that again. But right now I'm going to do a double page layout. I did bring in a wood grain uh, paper from my stash. This was just, um, I'm not even sure who it's by. I believe it's from a paper pad, but I'm not sure on that. Um, it was in my wood grain uh, paper stash, so I just pulled it out because it matches, kind of sort of matches the photos. There's a fence behind him in the photos, and you know me, I don't really do white cardstock backgrounds, so the wood, low light wood grain was perfect. And the S that you can see up there on the paper, that was a sticker that got stuck to the paper. Um, but since I covered it up, nobody will know, except for everybody that watches the video. Um, <laughs> in these banners, I, I know they're sped up pretty fast. Um, I did struggle with those banners. Um, I believe I played with those for almost 10 to 15 minutes laying them down. Um, <laughs> I was really struggling with lining them up. And that was just me because I've got to have them laid down just right. So I kept pulling them up and putting them back down. And then the black border that you see at the top is just black cardstock that I brought in from my stash. And I used a border punch to cut that out. And I did that across the top of both layouts. And then I used... I believe three of the pattern papers because one of them it's the same on the other side so I believe I used three different ones and then I'm going to use lots of the die cuts from the die cut pack and then I will add five photos of my son so here you can see I'm just adding the other banner in because I had forgot to add that in um, I will eventually end up stretching those red banners to be longer. I thought I was going to like them short up top, and then I decided that um, I really wanted them longer. So I will show that in a minute here. On the truck die cut, I'm adding a black star. And the black stars were just cut from black cardstock with a die that I have in my set. Um, the die cuts out an inside and an outside so like an outline and what I did is I layered the outlines with the larger outline and a smaller star inside um, for all of the stars all of the black stars and then this photo here I'm gonna pop up 
And these photos were already trimmed down and I had uh, rounded the corners on them. I was going to do a different layout uh, last year, I believe, with them. And it kind of got set to the side. I didn't really like the direction it was going. So I just kind of put it to the side and never completed the layout. And then when I was looking for 4th of July photos to scrapbook with this kit, I came across these photos. So I decided just to scrap the whole other idea with the other kit that I was using and go with this one instead. And I really like the way this layout turns out. You can see that star there um, when I die cut it, it kind of crossed over another star so it got cut in the wrong spot. But I'm just going to tuck it under the photo and nobody will know. And then this photo here um, is kind of like the main photo. So I added the little banner die cut at the bottom of that. And then I added the year which was 2017. So you can tell this was what seven years ago because he was five years old. So. But he used to like to pose for me for 4th of July with his 4th of July shirt and, you know, get ready to go watch the fireworks. And now, nope, no more posing. He's 12 years old. He'll rarely take a photo for me. So, um, unfortunately, I just have to enjoy all the ones that I took before. But I kind of knew that was going to happen. My oldest son did the same thing. But it's okay. Um, I still get photos of him every once in a while. And I'm going to add this fun title up here that says fun on the 4th. And I'm going to add this cute little photo where he has the sunglasses on and he's dancing around. I'm going to add that up top by the title. And I believe that's the, yeah, that's the only photo that I add up top with the banners. But it's a really cute photo and I think it kind of stands out on its own. Actually, I'm not sure why I didn't print that photo larger instead of one of the other ones but um it is what it is it was already printed so i'm just going to go ahead and go with it and all of these pictures are digital so you know if he ever wanted to see a larger picture of it or something he could always look in the files and find it and all of the files are labeled by year and date so it's easy to find and then now I'm just kind of placing stars down, trying to lay them out where I want them to go. Um, I did have an idea of where they were going to go, except for when I relay the banners down, I actually mixed them up. Um, I mean, they look fine the way they are, and actually I like it this way. Uh, so it's kind of like a mirror image of one side to the other, except for they are not the same length on each side. So what I was going to do was flip the red and the blue or the light blue and the red on underneath the title. So in my example, they're flipped. So then I had to figure out my star placement again. But <laughs> and I did pop up play foam, um, not on the truck, but just the photo and then the flowers that are I put behind the truck. Um, I just popped up just the flower tip. Um, and that was just to add a little bit more something over there. Uh, Fourth of July is kind of like Christmas. It's not my favorite holiday to scrapbook. I don't think there's any holiday that's really my favorite except for birthdays. Birthdays are usually fun and they come out with lots of collections and lots of different colors. I think it's because all the colors are the same. Christmas, you know, you use red, white, and green. You know, add in a little black and gold and silver and, you know, pretty much it stays the same. Fourth of July is the same. It's red, white, and blue or, you know, add a little bit of black or gold or silver. And pretty much those are the colors that are on all the layouts. So I think I just get tired of the same colors with different pictures. Um, but I really struggle with doing Fourth of July and Christmas. So when I get these new kits and it's new to me, that's when I decide, oh, got to do my holiday photos because I have something new to play with. Because when you have something new to play with, then you want to create something. So that's why I went ahead and jumped on it and started creating 4th of July layouts before the 4th of July. Because once the 4th of July happens, I won't want to create 4th of July layouts, even though I have more photos to scrapbook. So... <laughs> but at least I got two done. And 
there we go. I glued down all the stars and then I will realize that somehow I dropped the star. Um, I think I left it in where I find the star. Yeah, it was on my black mat and I just didn't see it. I don't know how it fell off of there and I didn't even see it fall. But there you go. So I added down at the bottom and that's it. So there's a few close-ups. And like I said, I will have another layout for Miss Kate's design on the 4th of July. And this kit is now available on her website. And this is the monthly box kit. So you do get everything included in the kit here, except for the cardstock. That's an additional price.